Hey beautiful, I hope you are doing super well today. It's Shandy, and as promised, I am back today with section number four of our wildly popular red velvet rose crochet shawl pattern. We will go ahead and pop the links below for you to sections one, two, and three, and you can get the written version of this pattern at expressionfiberarts.com. We'll also put the link in the description box below for you. I'm gonna keep today short and sweet. Let's go ahead and get our hook and yarn and jump right into crocheting. Okay, let's work the spacer row preceding section four. Okay, to work this spacer row, you're gonna start with a chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're gonna work one double crochet into the next chain space, which is right here. Okay, then you're gonna work a chain three. One, two, three. Then this is super simple. You're gonna repeat that all the way across your row. So repeat one double crochet in the next chain space, which is over here. Chain three, one, two, three, one double crochet in the next chain space. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way across. One, two, three. I'm just working a small little swatch today for demo purposes, but yours will go all the way across your shawl. And this is gonna create a nice little visual break in the pattern, these nice little spaces gives your eye a space to rest. Continue all the way across and I will show you what you do when you get to the very end. There's one chain space left here. So go ahead and work your double crochet there. And then you're going to chain three one more time. One, two, three. And you're gonna work one double crochet into the final edge stitch. So all the way over here on the very edge. So you've worked one double crochet into the final chain, chain three, and then you're gonna work a double crochet into that final edge stitch. And that's your spacer row. Here is how you work section four, row one. Okay, now for row one of section four, we're gonna start by skipping this next chain space. So that very first one, we are skipping it. We're gonna work into the next chain space and we're gonna do three triple crochets, chain five, three triple crochets. Let's do that. And I am using American terms when I say triple crochet. Some people also refer to it as a treble crochet, whatever you prefer to call it. So we've got our three triple crochets there, work a chain five, four, five, and then three more triple crochets into that same chain space. And as soon as I've done that, I will go ahead and show you what you should have so far. All right, so we've skipped the first one and we've worked three triple crochets, chain five, three triple crochets in the next one. All right, once you've done that, you're gonna work one single crochet into the next chain space. Then we're gonna repeat that across. So in the next chain space, work your three triple crochets. One, two, three, then your chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and three more triple crochets into that same chain space. And you'll continue repeating that all the way across your row. You'll find that this entire pattern is just a lot of repeating, so it becomes very mindless and repetitive and very easy 
Work your single crochet in your next chain space. Very meditative, really. I love patterns that repeat. So you can just work away, you can watch TV, you can chat with your friends, listen to your audio book, whatever it is you love to do while you're knitting or crocheting. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll go ahead and work all the way across my little swatch piece here and show you what you should be getting once you've finished this row of this section. All right, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into the next space. And then I'm on to my final little section here where I do the three triple crochets, chain five, three triple crochets. And definitely let me, let me know below what speed you like me to go if you prefer me to crochet pretty fast, if you're pretty comfortable with that, or if you'd rather me go slow so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I want to give you what you prefer, so definitely holler at me. I am but your humble servant. Okay, so here's what we've got going so far. When you do get to the end, what you're going to do is work a single crochet into the final chain space. So here's that final chain space. We're just going to close it all off with a nice little single crochet. Let's go ahead and move on to section four, row two. Now that we're doing row two of section four, this is a fun one. What you're going to do is start with a chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then work one single crochet into this next chain five space. Like so. And repeat that all the way across. Chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and work one single crochet into the next chain five space, which is all the way over here. Repeat that all the way across, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, until you get to the very end, and I will show you what to do once you get over there. I love these types of rows, they're super fast. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They make you feel super productive. All right, so I have now worked into the final five, chain five space there. And what you're gonna do is another chain eight, and work a single crochet into the edge stitch. So all the way over here, you're gonna work a final single crochet. Continuing on, section four, row three. Okay, now for row three of section four, you're gonna start with a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then in the next chain eight space, you're gonna work three triple crochets, one, two, three, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and three triple crochets. We're working into that same chain eight space. One, two, three. That's what you should have in your first chain eight space. Then you're gonna work a single crochet into this next single crochet here. Then repeat that all the way across your row. Let's continue on into your next chain eight space. You guessed it. Three triple crochets. One, two, three. Then you'll work your chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then three more triple crochets. This is all very exciting stuff. 
One, two, three. So that's your second chain eight space. You'll see these stitches spread out in that chain space and that's totally awesome. Work a single crochet into that next single crochet and just continue repeating that all the way across your row. Like I said, this pattern is very repetitive. Once you figure out the first few repeats of a row, you just work it all the way across. So it's super enjoyable. Three, four, five. And a wonderful pattern to do other things while you work on it. It's also a fairly adjustable pattern. You can make it wider if you like. You can make it more narrow. It just depends on how many chains you initially cast on. So it's pretty easy to adjust depending on what you're shooting for. You can also adjust your yarn size. If you do that, instead of using worsted weight like I am, you could opt for a DK weight. You could even go down to a sport. You could use a fingering. You could use whatever you like. If you want to do that, I would suggest doing a small swatch using your preferred hook size and see the look of the piece that you're getting before you start your whole piece. That way you'll know what you're getting before you make the whole thing. I always think that's a good idea. It's gonna save you a whole lot of time down the road. All right, I'm finishing up the final little section here of three triple crochets, chain five, three triple crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, and three. And that is it for this row. And that's what you're getting here. Now what you're gonna do is repeat rows two and three once more. Now for the final pico row, and then you are done. Now we're onto the final pico row, which is super exciting. I can't wait to show you. Let's start with a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna skip this very first triple crochet and the next triple crochet and work one single crochet into the next one right here. Then you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and work one single crochet in this chain five space right here. Now we're gonna work a pico. To do this pico, you'll chain five, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch into this same single crochet right here that you just worked. Insert your hook into that single crochet and slip stitch right into that. And boom, you get this little bloop, which is a pico. Once you've done that, you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and work one single crochet into this next triple crochet. So here's what you have so far. It looks like a little crown. Okay, now you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and work one single crochet into the next single crochet, which is over here. Let's go ahead and repeat that again. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and skip two triple crochets, this first one here and the second one and work one single crochet into the next triple crochet. Once you've done that, you're gonna chain five again. Two, three, four, five, and work one single crochet in this chain five space. Next, we do our pico. One, two, three, four, five, and you're going to slip stitch into this single crochet that you just worked. Insert your hook into that and slip stitch so you get your little bloop. Then chain five. One, 
two, three, four, five. And work one single crochet in the next triple crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then one single crochet in the next single crochet, which is right over here. And that is the repeat that you're going to work all the way across your row. Just continue repeating until you get to the very end. Now, when you do reach your end, you're gonna work all of that in here. You'll have your little final pico. Then you're gonna finish your row by working one single crochet into this final chain space. And that is it, you will be done with your shawl. All right, you are done. Go ahead and weave in your ends and block your shawl. And if you have any questions about that, you can check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. And this completes our little mini series on this red velvet rose crochet shawl pattern. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye-bye.